We've got the webcams with 10 healers. We've got the double hero charge potentially is what he wants to use. All right, goes. Starting with that queen near the wizard tower. Do want to charge this queen into the scatter. Rages her up. No recall to pull her back. So she's going to be charging her way in. With that balloon to test for seeking air mines. Everything's safe so far. He does lure out the defensive CC a little bit. There's a headhunter. Takes out the expo. So this queen should make her way through that headhunter. No problem. As a wall break comes in, pulls out an ice hound, which will be quite annoying on this queen. It's going to slow her down a lot here. Dropping a few balloons onto this cannon with a golem to utilize. And now the queen is slowly going to make her way, killing off this offend defensive Ice Hound here. With that rage. Man, this queen is taking forever to get through this hound. It's slowing her down like crazy. Oh my, with the king and warden off to the left side to go into the multi, into the royal champion, and the poison spell over there with the RC. And are we going to see healers? Healers on that RC potentially. Once that air defense goes down, hang on. With a wall break, trying to get this queen to move closer. There's a blimp. Headhunter, king ability, so the blimp can secure the town hall. Yes, the healers are now deployed onto that RC. Protects the blimp at the same time. The queen is charging. The blimp makes it to the town hall. He, there is three different things, and he even wall breaks. Look at the multitasking done by Ghost here. And the RC is getting healed back up from the healers under rage. Now the queen's going to clear this multi air ability. No! Oh, he keeps her alive, but he did have to burn her ability here. He does have a couple of freezes. Freezes that monolith. This is not looking too bad here. Might have to use the invis on the queen. He does to keep that queen going. The single, the monolith is going down, but look at the RC charge. The healers want to go to the warden. Drops a yeti to tank the cannon arch tower. But the problem is the queen going down really hurt as a Tessa farm was found over on the far right side of this base. He's got some cleanup. He's got archers really cleaning up. He's got to really save this RC ability. Or is he going to use the giants for cleanup? I think that you have to save the giants. They've got to be your cleanup in this attack here, Ghost. He's running. 30 seconds left. He's got to make a move for it. With a couple of freezes, he pops the RC ability. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ground skeleton pops. He drops the freeze onto them. 20 seconds. But he doesn't have any wizards to the top side. He's a phoenix is over there. He can't drop the Giants. You're probably wondering why he doesn't drop them. Because he needs them for cleanup. And it's going to time fail. Oh, man. Ghost. What a great effort there. And the Giant even finds a Spring Chap. And it's a 91%. So close. XBB has got... Yep. He's got his Valks. He loves his Valkyries. 14 of them with a recall. Lightning. So it's a lightning recall Valk attack. With that queen right off the start at 6 o'clock. To send her down. He's going to try to pull and take out this town hall potentially. Into double expos. The invis is just touching the town hall. That's the only thing it will make invisible here. In this section. As the queen is... Okay, there's the lightning onto the invis and the expo to take that down. As the wall breaks, it is going to open the wall left. But is the queen going to go right? Uh-oh, queen's going right. He drops a few balloons. Is it too late? The, oh, no, she comes back. And she's going to step into the town hall. She's getting damaged. She's damaged a lot. Oh, no, her ability was forced. And that's going to really hurt here. As the flame flinger is uh, being used down here. Was he trying? Okay, he recalls the queen as he wants the flame flinger to secure the town hall and then go for the single target inferno potentially. But he used a minute of this attack and already burned the queen ability with the recalled queen off to the far right with the wizard over there. We got a couple sneakies to help try to force a funnel somewhere. I don't know where he deployed him. Oh, he deployed him up by the king at the top side by the eagle artillery. The Flame Flinger has locked out of the Town Hall as he's making his way in. He's going to try to send these Valkyries straight through there or into the Eagle. Oh, no, he's going to the Eagle. Yep, with the Warden, the King, the Golem, the Rage of Queen, trying to keep her alive here. He does have a couple wall, super wall breaks, but he's not using them for this Queen as they're walking their way 
into the eagle to try to remove, remove that, but the healers, they're getting hit by the multi-target Inferno, finds a tornado trap, but the queen does come back. Out comes, wait, is there a bunch of balloons in this defensive? What? There's a balloons and a super Valkyrie in the defending CC. Was, were they expecting Valks and the balloons were the right call to use to try to defend Valkyries as he's moving his way through? Taking out the enemy queen. Oh no, he doesn't take her down. The town hall was secured, but the king is stuck on the core of this base here. As he freezes the fence of RC, he's gonna pop her ability, but the Valkyries have disappeared. Was Max and Ghost predicting Valk? So they said, let's put some balloons in our defensive CC. With more Valkyries coming out of that clan castle, dropping some wall breakers. The king will come back alive with the Phoenix. As the RC dies off, trying to get as much percentage as possible. Since Ghost did end up time failing, the percentage is going gonna, is gonna to make a difference here. 91 in the 90, 92, 93, King comes back alive. Every single building will matter. And remember, at the end, there will be a judging vote to potentially add bonus stars. Very nice try. 93%. Some sort of skelly donut. He loves skelly donuts. And I'm seeing it here. 15 balloons, 21 hogs. With four invis and a handful of rages. So he's going to try to... What is he going to try? Oh, wait. No, he's not going to Skelly Dome because he's got a poison spell. So he's not. He's going to do a queen charge hog with a bit of a lalo to the left. And a stone slammer going straight in to sneak in onto the bomb tower. Look at that. He's distracting the... No! <gasps> oh, no. He, he, want, oh, oh, he wanted... It. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh, are you serious? He wanted that stone slammer to go into the bomb tower, take it out so the super wizards can then... Uh-oh. Guys, what is he going to do now? Wait, what does he have in the CC? Oh, he, it's not, he doesn't even have super wizards. He had, like, goblins. Wait, no, he does have a super wizard. Oh, never mind. It's gone. Whatever it was. Well, um... This is not good. This is not good. Wait a second. I recognize this base. I think this is the base that Alec might have hit in his match against Rukit and Badia. This looks like a very familiar base. I remember this in Monolith over there. As the queen is charging her way into the multi, but her ability has been popped. Drops a rage, but the heathers are getting hit by the multi. It's going down, but the eagle locks out the healers. Out comes Rocket Loons. He sends the hogs in. He makes the healers invisible, but they're going to die to the eagle shots. And down they go. And the tunnel's not active. Oh, oh, it pops an early warden ability. The poison lizard. Oh, wait. It, the hound is actually bringing the queen back. Pops it. Oh, no. He's running around. The tunnel is going to become invisible. He's going to skip through it. The warden's going down. Oh, he becomes invisible. They're spinning. Oh, no. Now it's a matter of trying to save that two star. That stone slammer going the wrong way cost everything in this hit here. Oh, man. He needed that to go for that town hall. Then he was planning to charge that queen to the bottom side. But the thing is, the smash is going to stay close here. Depends on what Homer is going to do. Sends the RC to secure this two-star of the Town Hall. Rages in Viz to help take that down as fast as possible. The King's ability goes through to try to make his way to the Eagle. Makes the RC invisible again to try to take out the Monolith. Stuns it with a handful more troops. RC ability is going to go off. Makes her invisible before the poison gets launched. Pops the ability. Oh, he froze the enemy RC. Poison spell goes down. Takes out a mortar and the builder hut. What else can he get? Drops a hog, a balloon, so a couple wall breaks, a wizard up there to try to get... Hey, is it going to be 69%? Hang on. Down it goes, 69. Oh! Oh! Wait! It is. It's the natural 69% for Max! He's bringing 14 hogs... Four Inferno Dragons. Quad Quake here. Okay. Now this... Now this is piquing my interest here. What is he planning to do? He drops some Inferno Dragons. Dragon Riders to go into the Town Hall. So it's going to be a little bit of a Sui Inferno for the Town Hall section. Very nice. Can he make his way there? That's the question. Oh boy. is one more Inferno Dragon. He's trying to clear all this. If you look at what's air targeting, nothing. 
other than the channel itself. The Dragon Rider goes straight... Oh, the Dragon Rider actually pulls the poison spell. Oh, the Inferno Dragon activates the Town Hall. He freezes the Town Hall. They take out the storages. They're making their way. He sends another Inferno Dragon to try to secure the Town Hall. So he freezes. Uh-oh, will he be able to charge his beam? Look at this. Inferno Dragon charging its beam and just crushing through this Town Hall. Taking it down so fast. Down it goes. Well done. Look at that. The Sui Inferno Dragon securing the Town Hall. Here's the Log Launchers. Electro Titan, Warden, King, Queen, all the way to the top side. Helping to take that out. He could pop the King ability. The Headhunter. The Warden Eternal Tome to protect everything to the top side. Get ready for it. There's a Quad Quake. Look at that. Quad Quake to open up everything else in this base here. The Logs open up the Monolith. Poison gets activated. And out comes the CC of Raccoon. So the Lava Hound. He's moving his way in. King ability, Warden Eternal Tome. Oh, brilliant Warden ability. Now sending the Hog Riders only to the right side with the Royal Champion potentially behind. There she goes as he's trying to clear this cool... Oh, Queen, you need to move your way back in. Yes, she actually comes back somehow. Doesn't go for the outside buildings. How does he control his queen like that? And we got a golem walking its way in, followed by the yetis, drops a heal. Look at this attack. What is this? Those Inferno Dragons did work clearing that bottom side. The defense, his king comes back alive with the Phoenix, and this is looking fantastic here. The queen's going to take out the single, can burn queen ability through an expo, and oh my, he need, it's all about cleanup now. The RC, wait, did she die? Oh, she died. Oh, that's going to be, that's going to be a problem here. As the queen's ability goes off, Drop some archers to the top side. 30 seconds. At least these are open walls here. Moving his way through. It's looking good. He's celebrating. The queen will walk her way around. And this was beautiful. What a way to section off each of parts of this base. I love the Inferno Dragons. To secure the town hall like that. With the freeze. And just crushed through that town hall so quickly. Homura with a beautiful three star. And he's bringing... 23 super barbs and the recall. All right. Opening up the right side of this base. A couple super barbs now using, being used to help with that funnel. Takes out the cannon. And he's got that queen charge to charge her into the scatter. Bayer Expo, the bomb tower. And that log launcher to utilize as well as so the queen is stepping in. The cannon's hitting this queen. Drops the king now to force him into the multi. Oh, 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 was that rage too late? Oh, just in time there. The defensive RC is going to step in. Sends the warden in with this king here. And a log launcher to move through. Now the queen is going to be raged up through the defensive RC. Out comes the CC. Oh my goodness, look at that. Launching each one of these archers one by one with the logs. Popping the warden eternal tome. As he wants to secure the multi-target Inferno with that log launcher. As he's making his way to the left side. As the logs also... Look at that. The logs activated the invis. He pulls the queen out of that compartment. Sends her further on the outside here. So she stays away from this monolith. As yetis... Wait, no. Don't tell me yeti mites are going to go and take out this monolith here. Those yeti mites are going to be clutch. They're taking it out. As the queen continues her way through. The monolith goes down. Oh my, what an OP yetis from that log launcher as he rages this queen up to the top side. Still has 16 super barbarians. Dropping a couple more up top as this RC is going to make her way into this multi. Drops a golem by itself, really dissecting this base one by one. And now the queen is getting, oh, the healer is getting hit by the air defense. Takes, what? The queen stopped hitting the expos and, oh, I see you, air defense. Let me protect my healers. The smartest queen ever from Ghost here as he's continuing his way around. But the problem is the queen needs to take out the town hall. He has a lot of spells with the queen ability. She's going to, oh my gosh, what is this attack? That queen's going to force ability. There it is. What? Drops another rage. He's got to have to use these freezes. There's the freeze on the town. Oh, the queen just ignores it. <laughs> Sends a couple super barbs. Oh, no. Queen, you got to go for it. There's the freeze again. And look at this. Ghost. What a brilliant attack. And takes that down. And he needed it to stay in this match. That queen's taking a lot of damage from the poison. But down goes the last building. 
And a three star on the board, GG Ghost. And he's got himself four Electro Titans. Couple Lightning. Oh, he's got only two Earthquakes here. Are we going to see an RC skip? We haven't seen one of those in forever. To try to use the RC ability to skip and take out some buildings. Let's see if this works. As that Warden is actually moving in to follow this... Inf Wait a second. This Warden's going to ignore everything and just follow the Infernal Dragon. Maybe. Okay, the Infernal Dragon is getting hit here by the Scatter. It's going down. Warden gets pulled into the Scatter even quicker. Okay, taking this down. Not using a Rage. There's the Rage. The Owl was actually tanking the Scatter, so the Warden was not getting hit here. Clearing the cannon. He has four more healers to utilize. Tunnels all the way on the far right side. There's a couple sneakies to the top side. Only two lightning spells. What is he going to use with that? Two lightning and two earthquakes. The earthquakes can definitely help with a log launcher. As the ground expo is going down. There's the queen. She's going to then be a queen charge as well. At the same time as this warden is walking. And there's the king. He's to lure this warden back. Yes. The Warden is being lured back with the King. Electro Titans are down. Queen's going to make her way up to the top side by herself. And there indeed is the Log Launcher coming in. We got a multi. The Defensive King. Poison Spell waiting for him as he makes his way in. Headhunter going through. Balloon pulling. A Seeking Air Mine protects that Baby Dragon, which is kind of nice. But that... Ooh, the Monolith does lock on to that Electro Titan. Down it goes. And out comes... Look at that. Out comes a handful of Balloons. There's lightning into the core. Look at it. It's all balloons. It's all balloons. Oh my goodness. Because he was they're expecting Valkyries. So there's the balloon defensive CC. The counter to Valks. As he's moving his way through. The Electro Titans are taking the balloons down quickly. But there's a lot of things hitting him in the core. Uh oh. Wait a second. The Queen Chiefs. Oh no. The healers. He freezes. Oh. Just in time to protect the healers of this Queen. Drops a rage onto these Electro Titans and the Yetis in the core. They're skipping the invisibility spell. The Queen's running around. The Town Hall, though, no Queen ability. The Electro Titans are going to make their way to the Town Hall next. Now they're onto it. Can this still work? As the RC's got her ability, the Queen's walking around. Oh, the Town Hall's going to explode with the RC. There are double skeletons, but the uh, Electro Titans clear them quickly. RC ability, but time is not on his side. Time, time, time. Pops the ability. Takes down the double archer tower. That's clutch to save this queen. RC slowed down so much. 19 seconds. The queen's running. The electric titan is going down. The down goes the archer tower as well. 14 seconds. There's no way. The queen. 10 seconds. The RC. How much health does that multi have? It's full. The diggy stuns it. It's not about that. It's about time. Time, time, time. Oh no, a 99%! Look at that, he's even got the button or a sticker there. Rip to X, baby! The 99. Max with. Couple bats. Four healers. Oh, he's got the Valks. He's got the Valkyries. He wants to show XBB how it's done. Let's see if he can do just that. As the Flame Flinger is going to move its way through. And he's going to Skelly Donut at the same time. Going to grab the Multi. The Scatter Shot. The Ground Expo. Look at these pinpoint accurate, accurate drops. Can he drop another one? And yes! Down goes the Expo. Down goes the Multi. Down goes the Scatter Shot. What? A, it's not a Skelly Donut. It's a Bat Donut. My goodness. There's no Skeleton Spells. A Bat Donut. Into an E-Dragon. And Valks. The Warren's taking his time. There's an E-Dragon. Oh! The air defense gets a shot off on the E-Dragon. That's going to hurt. Wait a second. That E-Dragon will chain. Activate the Town Hall. Make it invisible. Uh, this Warden. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. What is he going to do here? Oh! Ground Skeletons onto the Flame Flinger. He sends a handful of Sneaky Goblins to the Town Hall here. He sends a lot more. Out comes a Headhunter CC. Poisons it. Uh-oh. Sneakies need to remove the Town Hall. Yes! The Town Hall goes down. Now the Warden ability, unfortunately, was forced over onto this Headhunter because of it, as the Valks are now going to have to move into the Scatter. But watch out. A Poison Spell is going to be a big problem, but the Queen looks like she's going to walk down this alley. 
Flame Flingers going down to the multi mortar, but the king just secured that. More Valks are coming in. Royal Champion. There's the Rage. He needs to take down the Scatter as fast as possible. Skelly's going to go down. Out comes Rockaloons. Finds a Trineo Trap. The Monolith does go down just like that. But the Valkyries are gone. The Valkyries have just vanished right there as the RC is still making her way through with the Queen ability. Man, those Valks. He wanted that Warden Eternal Tome, but the Headhunter, unfortunately, pulling out that Clan Castle cost him as he wanted to run the Valks all the way up to that Eagle Artillery and get all of that value right there. You can see it. Queen's got her ability, forces it to try to keep her alive, and it can come down to percentage, even though XBB and Home Run do have the advantage there. Oh, finds a double a Seeking Air Mine over on the far right side onto that air defense. Queen's going down. Bye-bye, healers. Bye-bye, queen. And the Rockaloon can't... Oh, it does. Does grab that air defense. And skeletons pop. 65%. Not Max's attack there. Not his day. Trying to get a little bit more percentage. Can the Valk do it? One more building. It grabs it for a 66. Very nice try. But that Warden Eternal Tome cost him. Right there. All right, and he's got another one of the Inferno Dragons and Super Dragon mix here. The Yeti to the bottom side with a Flame Flinger to try to move in. A s oh my goodness, look, he's doing it again. Sending Inferno Dragons. Oh, and a Skelly. What the? Wait a second. He's got a Flame Flinger to the bottom side. He's got a Skelly Donut going on. He's got Inferno Dragons to the top side, moving into the Town Hall. He's multitasking here. Another Invis. How can the CC go down? Oh, Poison got launched. CC's not going down. Another Invis. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? What? And the tunnel goes down. How did that CC go down? What? There's no way mine would have been repaired. It would not have gone down. Are you serious? And he still has two super dragons to use into this attack here. As the Yeti off to the right side. The Yeti takes out the air defense over there. The Yeti took out that air defense over to the right side. Now here comes the super dragon. Try to move into... Wait a second. Wait, he realized... Look at the super dragon. It's skipping onto the multi. It's skipping onto the multi here. Taking it out. But the Super Dragon is kind of almost chaining in a sense. It's a Sui Super Dragon into the multi-target Infernos. That one is going down. That one is going down too. What? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Pops a Warded ability. Protects the Hogs. Protects the RC. King's going to the left side. Flame Flinger to the bottom. What a Super Dragon Sui into the grabbing the multis. Hogs coming out of the Flame Flinger to the bottom. The middle multi goes down. Some more Hogs coming through. Has Queen ability. What? Uh, how are you just dissected this base apart with an RC ability? Wow. That was something I have not seen before. Oh my. RC ability will skip through. Stuns the ground expo. The poison spell is going to be a little bit of an issue here. RC ability. And there you go. Skips through. Takes out a Builder Hut. The Queen is stuck on a wall. The Warden's trying to help a little bit. A few goblins. And look at Homura come in. What an attack here. And Homura. Two for two. With amazing attacks. Now that Super Dragon was amazing. And look at that. Another three star. For XBB and Home Rust team. GG, my friends. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the final score is 10 to 9, but the percentage is a 78.4 to a 65.2, which means it's time to head to the judge voting. <laughs>